So into Google, go ahead and type bakesmod.com, just like so. I'll leave it in the description as well. Go to download, and then you just click here to download it. Okay, that easy. Unzip the folder that you get, install the application, and, and you're pretty much good to go. After you install it, you should have a little desktop shortcut. Go ahead and double click it. And from here, it'll probably either say Steam or Epic Games, depending on which platform you're from. With Bakke's Mod open, just go ahead and go back to the internet and go to bakesplugins.com, also linked in the description. And on the home page, you'll see top plugins and then alpha console right here. You see it? Go ahead and click on it and install with Bakke's Mod. Click that button and give it a second here. And it'll say plugin will be installed next time you watch the game. Go ahead and enter and hit OK. And to make sure that it's actually installed, go to file. Open Bakke's Mod folder, go to data, AC plugin. If you don't see AC plugin after you installed it, go ahead and load up Rock League and then go back with Bakke's Mod and Rock League open in the background. Go back to here and then click install again and then see if it's actually in the files this time. Linked in the description is a folder called banner and in this folder you'll see a font that you will need. Um, only really for Photoshop users, so if you're not using Photoshop, uh, you don't need to download this actually. Uh, but really the only two things, or the only thing that you'll need, depending if, if you have Photoshop or not, is this banner template and the banner Photoshop. Okay, so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go back. So go ahead and just download the banner folders. After you download the banner folder right here, you can just double click and this is what we have inside. You will see this font. This is the font that I use that looks most like Rock League that I found. Um, so just go ahead and double click either one of these open type or true type doesn't actually really matter um, And then you just click install and it's installed onto your PC and it's all good. Uh, this is just the license for it and everything Here are uh, I have three examples. So this is the regular template Okay, so this is template, and this is your this is your actual banner. This is the Photoshop save. So if you look at this, what the Photoshop save allows you to do is actually change the letters here So it doesn't say template for example here, 200 IQ players. So if you take off your tag in Rock League, um, this will actually be right under it. So it looks like you have a tag called 200 IQ player and it's mixed and matched. So it matches with the actual banner. It looks really good. This is just a basic one I made in 30 seconds. Jam into the jammer. You know what I'm saying? And then a uh, good one little W because Twitch. So if you're a Photoshop user like me, uh, go ahead and install your font, come back and open up this Photoshop folder. Once you open it, you're left with the basic template here with a transparent background and the text that you can change. Okay, so for example, I'm going to turn this wall into our template. Okay, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going I'm to actually in make our wall invisible by clicking the I button, hit the banner, so it's selected, come up here to this quick selection tool, make sure it's on plus and just basically fully select it, okay? You see the border, make sure it's around every little piece. Go back to your wall, make it visible, select and mask, okay? Uh, make sure there's no feather, make sure you're at least on plus, something plus on the shift edge, hit okay. You can play around with the blend modes as well here if you wanted to. So for example, as you just saw, I made this. Looks like the earth is just being torn apart. There's like this special glow on the inside of it, which is pretty easy to make. You just took an earth and you just cut it into two pieces. I wanted to make my blue, my signature blue color that's on my channel, but I wanted to make YouTube green just so it kind of matches with the whole theme. And also the space and how I did this was, let me actually just show you. I'm gonna take off the color overlay and this looks weird. You could do something like this too. This looks kind of cool. But essentially, this is what it is normal. This is the normal picture of the space, okay? And I cropped it so it's the same size as our template. And what I did was I went up here to the blending mode and I changed it to subtract. You can mess with a lot of other options in here, uh, but I made it subtract. And then I went up here to blending options, went into color overlay. I put the color, sorry, put the color overlay into exclusion. And then I just messed with the colors. So you could do this, you could just find the color that you want. Uh, I'm gonna cancel so it saves the color. And we think it looks kind of blurry when you zoom in here, but you gotta realize that this is gonna be really small in game, so you probably won't even notice. So let's go ahead, export this. I'm gonna just save it into our banner folder. I'll call this space. Go back into your banner folder, and you should see our space one here, or whatever you created. See, it looks a lot better there. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to copy this picture. 
Go into our Bakis mod, go to File, open Bakis mod folder, go to Data, AC plugin, and Banner textures. Okay? And in here you can see I have some examples in here, but I'm going to go ahead and right click and paste it. So we have space. This is the code. So open this up. And this will probably make sense as you start looking at this more. So I don't want PS1. I'm going to delete the PS1. This, there's default ones that already come with it. But I'm going to change the PS1 to space. And then here I'm going to change this to space as well. So pretty much you want this code to pick up this image instead of the old one that I had. Okay, so make sure you save. File save. And you're really, you're ready for Rock League. Make sure you have Bakemon open. Start up Rock League. As I load up Rock League, ignore my car, by the way. I'm just, I, it is matched for here. You see that I have this banner on. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? 200 IQ player. It's the one that I showed you, the example one. So how to change your banner is uh, you want to go ahead and click F5 on your keyboard once you're in the main menu. Next one, you go to Cosmetics. Uh, you want to go to Banner Texture Mods. This is the second one here, okay? You can see it's 200 IQ. That's what I named this one. But we want to go to Space. See, it changed. There has to be something here that... Oh, that looks pretty good. I like that actually a lot. Let's go and score a goal and look at our uh, look at it from here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. YouTube slash blue. It looks pretty good. I actually don't mind this at all. This is what the Cat Jam one looks like. <laughs> Feel free to experiment with this. And you can get really crazy in detail once you start adding like a ton of stuff. You can actually mess with the border. You can add cracks in the border. You can do a lot of different things. Unlike other tutorials, I came up with this tag here. It looks pretty cool. So make sure you drop your boy a like, subscribe if you like the videos, make sure to check out how to make custom animated wheels. Yes, I said that right. Custom animated wheels and also custom decals. So yeah, if you don't drop a like right now for the algorithm, I swear I, you don't want to know what's going to happen. Don't make me do this, right? So like the video right now.